YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Young Crypto. I'm coming back with some heat. Today, I'm gonna show you how to own your name. What do I mean by own your name? I mean, own it on the blockchain. So basically, nobody can take that name from you. You own it, you keep it, it's yours forever. Um, this is gonna be a beginner-focused video. I believe anybody who isn't a beginner should already know how to purchase and store their name. And if you don't, that's fine. I'm just going to take this video very slowly. So I make sure that I don't skip anything for the beginners. Uh, right here, I have my Twitter page. If you guys want to contact me, give me a follow, send me a message, whatever you want to do. I'm also doing giveaways. You might be entered if you comment and subscribe. Um, but with that being said, let's get right into this video. So what is an ENS? An ENS is basically just changing the domain name for your actual wallet um, on the Ethereum blockchain. So instead of having a bunch of ugly numbers, you can have a specific name of your choosing if it's not already taken. And basically when you purchase it, uh, you're going to have your domain name for a certain amount of time. It's not really expensive to purchase the actual domain name or for the amount of time that you're going to hold the domain name. So you don't hold your domain name forever, but you can essentially hold it forever because once you own it, you can control how long you want to extend it. So it's your choice if you want to let it go or not. Um, but the most expensive part about this whole process is the gas. Uh, the actual purchase of the domain name is probably under $30 to even have it for like three years. Um, but just the gas, there's like three transactions to, I think, to approve the gas, approve the domain name, and then to assign the domain name to your wallet. So those are three different uh, transactions you have to pay. And so I believe I paid around like 400 or $500 for my domain name. So it's really not cheap, but I'm going to leave a cheap, al cheaper alternative uh, towards the end of the video for anybody curious about that. Um, so currently there's already 5,532,000 5, names already taken. I'm going to leave the official links below. You guys want to look out for scams uh, because you don't want anybody to scam you and basically take your wallet. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure you register with the official website, which is ens.domains. Okay, so basically, why would you want an ENS domain? Like, why would you want that? So anytime you deal with anything on the Ethereum blockchain, you will have that specific name of your choosing. So let's say you decide to play um, blockchain games in the future. Your username is going to be your ENS domain name. Um, and a lot of companies are already adopting this. Let's say somebody wants to send you crypto. They can send it directly to your ENS domain name. You, don't need, you can remember that very simply, easily off the top of your head. Um, and you can change your ENS domain name uh, to .com, .org, .art. I haven't looked into that because I really don't care. I like my .eth. And these are all the different wallets um, that it can be paired with. But I use MetaMask, so that's what I'm really focusing on. Uh, MetaMask is right here. So let's just really get into it, y'all. So let's see how, how this will work. So, oops. So uh, let's register. Or no, let's let's search up a name and see if it's taken. Uh, oh, I have to launch the app. Gotcha. So they want me to connect to my MetaMask. You guys can't see the MetaMask, but I'm going to connect. When you click this, your MetaMask is going to pop up. So I'm connecting. I trust this site, so I'm going to connect. All right. So what do what name do I want to look up that I think um, isn't taken that I'm interested in? Well, this name I'm going to purchase in the future, so I'm not going to look it up right now because for the video's sake, I don't want anybody stealing it. Guys, be careful. Don't give out your names until you purchase it because people will steal them. Um, let's just look up somebody popular, right? Let's look up Drake. Let's see what Drake Drake's domain is. Drake.eth. Yeah, I'm not getting that. Um, I don't even want Drake, though. Let me see. What do I want that isn't taking that I might like. Atlantic City, that's the city I live in. Atlantic City. Oh, somebody has AtlanticCity.eth. Okay. Um, let me see, what else, what other name could I look up? Um, hmm. Fried chicken. Fried chicken is definitely taken. 
Yeah, fried chicken dot is definitely taken. All these names are taken. It's cool. It's cool just like troubleshooting and, and seeing. Um Me versus the world. Me versus the world dot eat is taken. Let's just say I want to make it me versus the world dot eat. So for you to register your name, it's telling you at most it's only going to cost you $105, which really isn't that bad right now. And when I paid for it, Ethereum was a lot more expensive. And um, this price you're telling you isn't the final price because you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to assign it to your wallet. And there's like two other transactions. So just t keep in mind when you start the process, this is not the final price. I don't want you to start the process and not have enough money to finish. It's very important to own your name and have your name though, because you can see how there's more names being taken up just continuously. So that's the process. That's how you do it. Uh, and then once you have all of these things done, this whole, it's going to basically walk you down on how to attach it to your wallet you're going to just follow all the directions right here this is exactly what i did you're just going to read these directions right here you cannot mess up if you read these directions i'm hearing a lot of people are having issues with their uh ens so that's how to do it i know people drag on videos and make them super long and complicated it's really not that hard but it's really important and i want to show you why it's important now so I'm on OpenSea. OpenSea is the exchange where you can buy and sell NFTs that are on uh, Ethereum's blockchain. And you're going to own this and it's going to be owned in the form of an NFT. Um, and so if you go right here to my profile, we can see in my wallet. Yeah, you guys are looking in my wallet. You can see I own YoungCrypto.eth. That is mine. I own it. I could sell it if I wanted to. It's not for sale, though. But people are selling their names and you can see there's names selling on a regular basis. One just sold for half an Ethereum, goodvibes.eth. Wow, interesting. What well, should have thought about good vibes? That's a good name. Uh, shocking, funny, biggie. Sold for two ETH. I don't know why. Weird stuff, bro. People are weird about their names, man. So if you think you can come up with a good name that hasn't been taken, make it and sell it. Q U N dot E. Is that Quan? I don't even know. It must be somebody's name. Anyway, that's Ethereum name service. But as a bonus, I'm going to leave this in here for you guys. Solana is my favorite blockchain after Ethereum. And uh, they also have a naming service. It's going to be naming.bonfida.org. This one's going to be a little bit more tricky. And if you guys leave comments below, I'll make a video on how to purchase your uh, your name on Solana. But Solana is much cheaper. I think it's like 20 bucks to buy your name. And uh, oh, well, I guess what around 30 now, 30 bucks to, to buy your name. And uh, this one takes place a little bit differently. It's going to be an auction. But once you own it, you own it for forever. Um, yeah, just a little bonus information for you guys and uh, stay tuned for more content. I just want to do a beginner friendly video and just show people how to own their name. I think it's very important to have ownership in this crypto space, especially if you want to be a part of it. But with that being said, it's your boy Young Crypto. Any comments below, help me out. Subscribe, man. Your boy is on his way to 1K subscribers. Let's 